Hello and welcome to Maths with Jay. So what we're looking at here is a problem involving ratio. It's a typical problem where we're given two shapes and we're given information about the lengths of two sides in one shape but only one side on the other and we want to find a missing side. So here we're looking at two rectangles and what we'll do is first of all we'll use a calculator that has a ratio mode on it and then we'll have a look at how to work through the same sort of problem with an ordinary calculator. So here are the two rectangles. Note that they're not drawn to scale so no good trying to uh, do this by ruler and measuring. So we've got the two sides of the first rectangle, the smaller rectangle, given but we've got the longer side of the bigger rectangle unknown. So we want to find what x is. So we could write down the two ratios for the first rectangle. The shorter side to the longer side is 28 to 98 and that's going to equal the ratio of the bigger rectangle. So putting the shorter side first, that's 154 to x. So we're expecting x to be the longer side. That will be one way of checking that we've got the right answer. So first of all we'll use our calculator, our class whiz calculator. So we'll start off by finding the menu button and we want to look at the various modes available. So if this is new to you, you'll notice that there are icons shown here as well as words. So at the moment we're looking at uh, the calculate mode. Um, we'll take it down and down again. And you can see that on the right hand side of the last row, we've got something that not only looks like a ratio, but it says it's a ratio as well at the bottom of the screen. So that says C. So one thing that we could do to get to that is click on the button that's got a C above it. Another way would have been just to click on equals as we were in that place in the menu. Right, so now we're comparing what we've written with what's on the screen and our X is at the very end. So we want to select two. And then all we need to do is to key in our 28 and equals 98 and equals and then 154 equals and then equals again gives us the answer for x. So we found that our missing side is 539. So that's bigger than the other side in that rectangle. So we're likely to have done the calculation the right way round. Now, if we don't have a class whiz calculator, we could use fractions instead. Now, what I would do here is I'd want to write the x on top of one of the fractions. Let's, let's write that side first of all. So let's write the x over the 154. And that would be equal to, um, well, we would want 98 over 28. And then to find x, well, we would just multiply both sides by 154. So you could either cancel down the fraction, 98 over 28 first of all, and it would be 7 over 2, or you could just leave all the numbers as they are. So multiplying 154 by 98 over 28 would give you the same answer as before. 